All right, here's a Lighthouse Classic with Yazoo County, Coach Torridale. Uh Coach, if you don't care, introduce your players for us, please. Uh, uh, start from uh, Kimar Price and start to uh, Mark Grill. Okay, Coach, uh, I'm going to start out with you here. Uh, first question. Uh, I ain't scared to say it, man. That's the best 9 o'clock game we've ever had. Uh, <laughs> what is it like for you to come in and, and be able to provide that? Showed up, man. Showed up. Talk a little bit about your second half, especially that fourth quarter. Yeah, first off, it was more aggressive. So, started taking more side, trying to find my teammate, get them in the game. Try to make a run for it. Yeah, couldn't put it off. You want to comment on that as well? Uh, yeah, uh, I had some fairly fun over there. It kind of cost the game. I had a little bit of 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 a little uh, Marty, I'm going to come to you with this question here, okay? Uh, you know, like you said, you know, you guys kind of kind of didn't show up to the second quarter. Uh, you know, the, the shots wasn't falling. Have you ever went through a stretch? Uh, uh, Y'all, in the first quarter was... Uh, three out of four, or first half, three out of 14 from the three point line. That's 21 percent. Have you ever had a stretch where y'all shot that bad? And just kind of picked it up the second half, fall to it? Do I fall to more? Do I fall? Do I get them to shoot? Do I fall to the lead? Shot to the lead? Shot to the Same shots we've been taking all year. Uh, and they don't go in or they not. You know, I'm off the line. You can't score. If you don't put up 6 to 3 against a 7 8 school, we 3 8. If we don't shoot the ball now, if I tuck it in and, hey guys, man, let's just start passing around and play stall ball, man, that implies we're scared. But I'm blessed to have a finished group. If you look at our record, we hadn't seen anybody in 3 8. One 
team before everybody we played six, eight, seven, eight. We're trying. We don't want that 31 record. You look at who we played last year, Mount Island Cold War, that didn't get us in a better game. It was kind of false sense of who we were. And then when we got ready to be battle tested, we had been battle tested all year. We're not going to have that same problem this year. We're going to look at this. We're still. It's uncommon for the last few years. But yes, we kind of been on a losing streak. We dropped one. I'm going to say, God, the well coach, my team has up there. We turn around and drop one. Spartan 7 8 by 1, 6 8 by 10. I don't want these guys going to lock over their heads down as if they've left the town down. Like, people still know, and we're still sending a message that, hey, yes, the county is coming and they're forced to be ready. So I'm proud of my group's effort, like I said, man, just to even ask them to get up at 9 o'clock in the morning over the holidays. Give me 110%. When you could have been out of town and you should come to the thing, man, I'm, I'm on proud of my team. Like, I'm still going to go to the We'll be back in action too. We did get to Madison Central and Germantown Friday. So, schedule doesn't get any easier for us anytime soon. You know, but we're not we're not accustomed to losing. So, we're going to get back in there, get into the drawing board, and go back to the basics. All right, Kiwan, I'm coming to you with this here, man. Uh, Coach, I tell you, I'm a fan of basketball. I'm everywhere, all over the place. Last year, you were one of my favorite players, man. When I saw you play, like, I'm your number one fan. All right? I love the way you play. Number two fan. I'm sorry, Coach. Uh, you know, people talk during the game. I run my mouth a lot, right? Somebody out there, I heard a quote about you a while ago, you know, kind of running around talking about people watching. That's got to be the toughest kid in Mississippi right there. So, you know, as for your game, you know, you're undersized, dude. What do you do to bring the toughness? Uh, well, my name is Greg Hill. I'm coming to you. I was kind of scared. I had to break me. Uh, now, I'm like, I heard that in my squad. I just kind of brought the dog out in there. The coach didn't tell me. Uh, you step up. You know what I'm saying? I just brought the dog out there. Do you consider yourself the leader of this team? Uh, definitely. Too much. Too much. <laughs> you know, you got to sit beside you. You got some man sit beside you right here. <laughs> That was an unfair question. I said, I said, but, you know, most teams have a leader, the ones that are good. Are, are these co leaders for you, Coach? Right, it's a reason these to the two guys that I brought in here because when I'm looking to get a bucket on offense, I'm looking to get a spark on defense. It goes to these guys. Starts with these two guys. I can call a time out, and I haven't been with these guys that long, but I can call a time out and go over and have a talk with them. Look, like, look, it's your time. Like, you got everybody involved. It's winning time. I can tell the full court of sense of urgency about these guys, but you know they turn it up at night. So, you know, not a lot of coaches can. I'm blessed to get players to just at any given moment on command and give you 110% and work for you. Like I said, it's such a short window. So, like I said, yeah, these are my two leaders. And, you know, anytime I'm going to war, you're going to see these two hit the floor first. Like I said, it's no less than you see one and two back to back. And I like to pride myself on saying we got a family out for court. Came in as a team last night. Uh, went out and watched the football game. We did a lot of team running, which this was awesome for us to kind of get us out of our comfort zone. It's another part of Mississippi. A lot of our players have never even known about. So for us to come up here, be able to, you know, enjoy a restaurant, spend some time with each other outside of school, it's good. Like I said, guys sitting in the room playing video got guys that don't want to get to go to each other's house because we're a county school, so we're spread out. So with that, you know, anytime we can, you know, put that team around and have a family, that's what you need. Guys had an altruistic approach, and we don't care who gets the glory as long as we have one plus another team at the end of the night. That's the kind of team I got. Well, we're glad y'all were here. All right, Coach, I'm going to wrap it up with you here. Final questions come to you. You know, me and you was talking before the game. Uh, in March, you're going to have some 9 o'clock games at the Coliseum, you know, wherever it may be. 3A plays early in the morning. So, you, you know, you, you might be playing at 9 o'clock again, but you're not going to be playing. The lights of Spartan. You know, you're going to be playing. No, nothing wrong with 3A Mississippi basketball, but it's not Spartan. So, how does this prepare y'all for March games? That, and that, that was my message all week. I did two practices at 9, and then I actually brought a man at 10 yesterday just to get us used to getting up in the morning. We get up in the morning, we're going to class. We don't see a ball at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So, for these guys this week, we have to get up at 7 30, 8 o'clock in the morning to be up there and on the floor at 9 o'clock. First, the first day we kind of slug it. Kind of like, look, guys, you know, this is a reflection of how we're going to be in real games, how we practice on Tuesday, different approach. So for me and all the rest of the week, our mind frame was, they got to get on their own, we just did a shot. That mind frame was, okay, we got to be ready to play 
any time, whether it be 7 30 at night, 9 o'clock in the morning, and guess who can't just come call? We got to be ready to play the number. And it's hard to be able to critique and talk to a team when they're winning. These losses are like, make it able for you to go in there and, okay, we need to work on this. You can have film session after losses. The team wins 30 games, can you really tell them? Now we can go in and see what we have in the lapses and stuff that we can fix so that we can be ready for the day. Because at the end of the day, that's what we're going to do. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Hey, thank